Hi Libra, welcome. Thank you so much for being here spending time with me. I really appreciate it. Let's see what we can find out for you, okay? See what might be going on here. I am so glad you're here. All right. See what's up. Okay, you have the Hermit. King of Swords, Ten of Swords, Tower, Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, The World, Justice, and The Magician. Quite the group of cards. And your overall energy is the Hangman. Okay, let's get some Oracle cards, and then we're going to talk about this, and then clarify, okay? Let's see what we have here. Beautiful. I love this energy. You have the B spirit, sweet results away. Love that. Okay. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be an eventful time. Mm -hmm. Strength. Beautiful. All right, one more, and then we're going to start talking about this. So during this time, yeah, you have some sweet results coming in. You're going to be strong. And this is saying you need to take some time out for you. All right. Okay. Your overall energy is saying that there's something going on in your life where you need to go within, use your intuition, because you have questions. The answers to those questions all lie within you. Now, in your recent past, you have the hermit which is kind of like the way shower. Go within, again, using your intuition, and the hermit, they show you how to go forward. So your first two cards are definitely one where you are wanting guidance. Mm -hmm. And now you have the King of Swords, and the King of Swords is all about guidance. Yeah, they're very wise. And strong. They're a master, right? They've been doing this a long time. They base all their decisions on what they know to be truth. So here you have this internal guidance leading you and your truth, making decisions based on that in your wisdom, which was bringing about an ending. Okay, the Ten of Swords is an ending. And it can be one that has an emotional aspect to it, you know, where there could be upsets or concerns, stresses, but it doesn't have to. But what it definitely does have with it is knowing that you're dropping those burdens. Whatever has been making you feel heavy laden is going to leave. And you're going to go for your sunrise, which is your happiness. Okay? In your current energy, you have a tower. So this is just kind of wrapping right around here. Having an ending. Right? Now a tower. And a tower is an abrupt change. They can be challenging. They can be really positive. We're going to need to get some clarifying cards to find out more what's going on. But to me, it looks like it is a positive change. Because here, you have a brand new beginning, the Ace of Pentacles. And this is going for either career, finances, or anything focused on your pentacles. And if you notice, there's roots coming down, so it can have a long-lasting effect, which is beautiful. In the center of this reading, this is where you're being protective and defensive 
of whatever is going on, right? And again, we'll need to get more cards to find out about it. But because it can be a very good thing or it can be a challenging thing. So far, to me, it looks like it's a good thing, though. And now in your future, you have the world. This is where you are going full circle and completing something. It's done. You should really be proud of yourself and your efforts. Okay? You have justice, which is bringing in the balance. And here you have the magician. It's a wonderful card to end on. The magician is saying you are manifesting. Beautiful, right? Now over here it's saying you have some sweet results. So what you're doing is going to bring something that you truly want. And you're very strong. Mm -hmm. And here it does say that you do need to take time for you. It's important to go and whatever is right for you. Whether it's meditate, um, being out in nature, you need to make yourself a priority here. All right? Now let's go ahead and get some clarifying cards. See uh, what comes up here. Okay. Let's get one for the hangman, see if we can gain some enlightenment on that. Okay, you have a star. The star is a beautiful energy. If there's any healing that needs to be done, the star brings that in for you. And it's saying that if there's a dream you have, a wish that you have, that you really want to fulfill, you can do that. And here, it definitely looks like there is, right? So you're going in to find the enlightenment on how you achieve what it is you really want to get. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, now let's get a card for the hermit. <clears throat> you have the Knight of Wands. The hermit is helping you know where to go. And it is leading you to take action for your passion. What it is you're really wanting. Okay, the king of swords. <laughs> Beautiful, I love this. Very fast, positive moving energy that's coming right into you. So it looks like this is bearing fruit. You know, you're going in and having the hermit help you take action for your passion. And one of the beautiful things about this, you're basing it on wisdom and truth. And so it is quickly coming in, which makes sense now why you have this ending here. You're letting go of whatever didn't serve you to have this new beginning. Ah, and here you have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is holding on tight. And in this case, I believe that maybe you were holding on too tight. And as you let go of this time in your life, you're letting go of that as well. You don't need to hold on tight. You have all this beautiful energy. So this is your recent past, finding the way using your truth, beautiful energy coming in for you, which helps you to realize you can let go of this. You don't have to hold on tight, and you certainly don't have to hold on to what wasn't for you. Now, currently, you have the tower. So let's get a card for that. And so it does make perfect sense. Here you let go of something, and it could be a tower that's coming in because you're letting go. Or to help you let go of that. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Queen of Pentacles. Love this energy. As <laughs> um, chaotic as what a tower can feel, this brings in the stability. The Queen of Pentacles. Very stable. 
very grounded, a slower moving energy, so balanced. Her pentacles are good. Her career she enjoys. Her home life is filled with love. And she balances it all. So these, to me, are kind of balancing each other out. You know, here's a tower. Quick, moving, abrupt, change. And here she is. Slow, deliberate. Everything is good in her world. This is saying, by having this tower, you are bringing in the stability and the calmness and certainty that you want. Okay, the Nine of Wands, where you are standing guard. You know, that you are going to protect and defend whatever you feel needs it. And whatever's in the center of the reading, of course, is your current energy. But, you know, it goes for every card here. So you're being very diligent. Beautiful. Yeah, put that over here. So by you being diligent and keeping watch and making for sure everything is okay, you're bringing in a brand new beginning, one that you are truly passionate about. Okay? And in the past where you were seeking, looking for this guidance... You were finding it in the Knight of Wands. And so now, going through this, you know, the ending and the tower and finding the stability, you're bringing in this new beginning that is one that you are very passionate about. And you also have the Ace of Pentacles, which is, like I said, most likely on the financial side. It does not have to be, but it probably is. So you're bringing in something you're truly passionate about that's going to also bring in stability. And you have the hangman again. You have it as your overall energy, and you have it here as well. So it's talking about currently, which is, this is your current energy. And it's just showing up here. So it's the universe saying, you know, I meant what I said. You are having this rush, you know, this abrupt change, bringing in the stability, protecting and defending whatever you feel needs it, and having these two new beginnings. And you have questions, which would be totally understandable. So you're going in and finding the enlightenment. You know, you're getting those questions answered. Okay, whoa, this jumped right out. <laughs> All righty. Remember me talking about the world going full circle. Whatever was going on, completing it and ending it. And this is in the future. So this is tied right back to here. The, the very same. Okay, so I see here is your past. The very last part you're you know putting in an end to this not having to hold on so tight. This is a process of what you're going through now to have this new beginning. In the future, this is like making it concrete. It is done. It's over with. This is gone. Now you have the balance and you can manifest what it is you want. Gorgeous reading. Okay. Whoa. Cut those. Looky here, you have the sun. You cannot get better than the sun. Love this. By bringing in the balance, closing out of whatever challenge that was, you're bringing in the sun, which is where happiness, love, joy, all these things that you really want in your life are coming in for you. It's beautiful. And you have the six of wands, another beautiful energy. This is saying you're going to be victorious. Yeah, by you being diligent in going through all of this, you're going to be victorious. So, in other words, your dreams can come true. And you also have supporters in this. And now at the bottom, you have the Page of Pentacles, which is talking about you are ready to get this started. Mm-hmm. 
And so right over here, we have the Magician. Let's see what comes out for the Magician. Okay. Beautiful. Dropping all the burdens. There is a big completion here where you're letting go of what you're done with, what doesn't serve you, where you felt like you had to hold on tight. And you're dropping all the burdens. So you have three cards here, 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 and here, where you are dropping the burdens. So I think it's a definite message. You're letting it all go to bring in what it is you love, right? What you're passionate about. And it's going to bring in the pinnacles and the sun. So whatever's been going on, if it's been challenging, it's leaving. And you're going to be manifesting what it is that you want. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Cups, which talks about you walking away. There's something, you know, in your life where you've done all you can. You can do no more. You're done. And you're going for your happiness. And I would say this is just confirming that. Yeah, I do think this is a beautiful reading where you're finding the guidance that you need to let go of what's not serving you and bringing in what it is you truly want in your life and being diligent about it. Now remember over here, you have the strength to do this and you need to make yourself a priority and figure it all out and sweet results are here for you. Love it. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what the universe would like to share. It can be confirmation, advice, anything that they feel is in your best interest. King of Pentacles. Gotta love it. Mm hmm. You have the Ace of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles. What that is saying is you're having this new beginning, one where you're going for your pentacles. You know, it's got to do with the financial aspect. And you have the king, which is the master of the pentacles. So it's going through all the steps and ending up the master. So you're going to learn so much. And it's going to be in a short time. Now, the king of pentacles is the energy of having the Midas touch. So whatever it is that you're starting, it's something you're passionate about, which is wonderful because you're going to love it. And it's going to bring in the finances that are just right for you. Love that energy. That was too many. Okay, let's get another card. <laughs> hey, I love the synchronicity. I do, I do, I do. Okay. This is the very same card that you have here. This is where you are starting something that you're really passionate about. And the universe has it coming out twice because they want you to see this. They want you to know this is really going on for you. What you're passionate about is coming in. Okay. Oh, and another thing here, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So you have divine counterparts here, which adds strength to that. Mm -hmm. So, wow, the beginning of the Pentacles and the King and Queen. It looks like finances are going to be definitely in your favor. Okay, let's get one more card. Strong reading. Mm -hmm. You have the King of Swords here in your past, and now you have the King of Swords here again. So, from the universe, you have a king on either side of your new beginning. You are definitely, you know, protected in this. This is going to bring in the money 
and the stability, the finances. This is all about you using your truth. And that's a huge deal because you using your truth is enabling all this to come in, right? So you also have two cards of going for your passion. It's beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the same card as the very first card that came out, the Hermit. So that's the universe's way of just confirming this, right? And saying, do not forget to use this energy. Go in, get that started, so you see the path forward clearly. Okay, let's see what the angels would like to share. get more information. So what they're saying is if at any time in here you don't feel like you have enough information, you need to get more. And that's exactly what you're doing with the hermit and the hermit and the hangman. So yeah, you are getting the information. And this part is always true, if you believe. It's important. You do have to believe in what you're doing mm -hmm. and believe that you can and believe that spirit is here helping you. Yeah, it's huge. But take a look at this. Love it. Sweet results await. Okay, let's close this out with a turn. couldn't get better. You have angel wings, which means during this time, the angels are protecting you. Fabulous. So you're protected. Go forward and know that things are going to be beautiful. Thank you so much. I truly hope this helps and have a wonderful time. Much love.